Right guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, we're doing this for a request that was made on Rainy Lamb's channel for side spin. And what it is, what it does, how it works, uh, that sort of thing. Now, just before we start this guys, I very rarely use side spin when I'm playing my game. Um, only when it's obvious and I need to. I'm not great at it, specifically at distance. But we'll give it a go and I'll just try and explain the sort of fundamentals behind it and how it works. Now, apologies to you guys that are watching this that are pretty clued up on it and they're, and some of them are relatively quite good at it as well. Um, but yeah, so just just quickly on, on the brake for example, if we just reset the reset the, the side on the cue ball and we hit it plain ball, if we hit it at this angle, then the, the white should go back down the table on the left side of the blue so we'll just show you what I mean by that see it'll head towards the green but it'll go the left side of the blue the left side of the blue um, but what you want to do is you want to swing it around in a wider angle than that so if we just retake that shot we play it from the same place and we put right hand side on it what you should, sort of should be aiming to do is just clip the last red on the right now I might miss this guys, I'm not, I'm not very, like I said, I'm not very good at dis with distance and side. But we'll give it a try. And then that goes the right side of the blue, I did clip it slightly. Um, I needed to hit it a little bit thicker for it to, for it to work. Let's see if we can do it again. If anything, I hit that too thick that time because it, it was so close to the middle bag coming back round off the two cushions. But that's generally the idea. Now, it has to be right hand side to get that angle because you're what it's, it's called what it's what they call running side. So it runs alongside the cushion as opposed to against the cushion. For example, what I mean is if you play it with left hand side, because the cue ball in this direction is going to hit the reds and then travel to the right. You must have right hand side for it to exaggerate speed up of the cushions. If you have it on the left side, it turns against the cushion and against the direction that the white ball's traveling in. So if you play it the same way, it should hit the top cushion and then come back on itself slightly. See what I mean? Because what's, what it's doing is, is the left hand side is pulling the cue ball against the direction that it's traveling in. Just so fighting against it really to 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 not travel the way that you you know you you need it to go. So that's just quickly on that one. If we uh, if we move the the white ball down into a position, I just want to show you something that I think is quite relevant, uh, guys. And, and I don't think if there was ever a new one that it would actually. Um, I don't think it should be in the game, and I'll show you what I mean. Trying to get this red as straight as possible. Right, so when it, when it, when a, an object ball is dead straight, in real snooker, side on the cue ball shouldn't do this. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put all the right hand side on it now. Ignore the direction of the red for a second, but watch the blue line with the direction for the white. See, it does that. Now, in real life, and if I put the power right up, that's got that showing going through the pack. Now that isn't going to do anything because you're not going to get on a colour at that pace. It's just going to sit in the reds. Um, but the idea is, is that if it's dead straight, you shouldn't really be able to manipulate the cue ball that much. You should only really be able to put top spin and back spin on it. So let me just show you what happens if we... Uh, We've just put that full power and the, the line is dead straight. Now, this wouldn't happen in real snooker. That just that just wouldn't happen. You couldn't no player on TV that you watch will be able to do that. Now what they would be able to do is they would be able to pinch a bit of the pocket. What I mean by that is currently that's almost as centre as it can be. You can pinch a little bit of the pocket create a little bit of an angle now 
obviously what you're doing there is you're putting your pot at more risk because you're hitting it into the jaw as opposed to the actual back of the pocket. So it's 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 easy to, to not do that. For example, if I put left hand bottom on this, it's easier for me to get into a position to attack the reds out off the black. Just put that power up. That power bar increases and it straightens up. Um, so we'll pinch a little bit of the pocket and then it'll move to the left. Which gives us an okay line to attack the reds. Yeah. So we'll, re we'll replay that shot again. Um, I just want to show you reverse and red inside off the cushion. So say for example the black was blocked, you couldn't pop the pink. Um, and your only real option was a bulk colour or a blue. Now, obviously on Pro Plus, you could just reverse, sort of put backspin on it and come to, I don't know where the white is now, and play a long blue into the corner. If the blue is tied up, you'd need the white to get back down the table as much as possible. Now, if you was to hit this dead straight with bottom, the chances are the white's gonna go near that middle pocket that you can see just inside the right-hand side of the screen. So what you want to do is you want to exaggerate that angle. So what you do is you put all the way to the bottom and then move it to the left. Because remember, when the white ball comes back off the red, it's heading down the table. And to run with run inside, it must be left hand side. So it's opposite if you're put playing it with backspin. All right. We don't want to do it any more, any more than that, really. So if you put loads of power on this, the more power you put on it, the more exaggerated that the, the the cue ball moves off that or is manipulated off that cushion. So if we play at eighty one percent, watch it, it flicks up and then goes down towards bulk colours. If anything, we've hit it a little bit too hard, but we've got a brain, we've got a yellow. Um, ignoring the blue. Now, that's with run inside. And the reason why again it's run inside guys because your the white ball's come in this way and then it's going down the table. If we put the wrong side on it, which I got this wrong so many times before, um, it's not going to go down to the bulk colours as much. It, it because it's against it's run it's side against the direction that the cube will travel in. As soon as it touches the cushion, it's going to dig into it and slow the cube will down. So we try that. Watch it, and then it grips it, and it stays this side of the blue. Now. The hardest thing about playing with side is if the blue line's coming onto the cushion, it's really, really difficult to judge where it's going to go. So what I would tend to do if you're going to play a shot with side is imagine that your landing area is massive. And what I mean by that is you would want to be anywhere in that area there. So if you imagine that squared area from the middle pocket to the blue, from the blue to the brown, from the brown to the bolt line side cushion, the chances are you're gonna be on a color. Yeah, so if you aim for that larger target area, you're not gonna be far off. That's that's probably the best the, the best I could suggest that you do. Um, remove, remove the white ball down here a bit more. Um, Now, I personally wouldn't recommend this shot because you're playing off a red. So, if you're playing off a colour to split the pack, if the pack splits, you've got more options. So, just to give you a quick tip on what Rainy Lamb does when he makes his splits with um, off a colour getting onto another red, he will tend to put the reverse side on it. What I mean by that is he'll put left hand side on it like that, he'll play it at full power. And then you've got what you've got is you've got the blue line smashing into the reds and because it's quite extended and it almost reaches the green pocket you know that it's going into it with a lot of power so you know that the split's going to be relatively quite big the reason why he puts left hand side on it is, is because you don't want to get stuck in the reds or you don't want to spin off them come off the side cushion and end up relatively where the black spot is or at worst on the top cushion because it doesn't give you many options so you play it with this much power and you play it with 
the left hand side just watch what happens to the white when it hits the side cushion see it goes up the table so he's done that for that reason only now he all of a sudden he has six reds to make a sizable break seven reds with the bottom one on the pack there on the left hand side um, and then he doesn't have to worry about a split for about four or five different shots yeah so he will play it like that again if we was to play that with the wrong side on it you can you might get away with it because it would go off two cushions and you might get a red into one of the bolt colors but just to give you an idea of the difference the way the white ball travels it might not even reach because there was that much of a side on it see it come back down if anything it's a good shot for the black but it's it's not as effective in the way that you're just you're just reliant on well let's just say we potted the black there to split the pack you haven't really got a red that one might go no that one don't go so if we had a potted the black to split the pack then even though he was on a red um you're in no man's land you, you haven't got it it's, it's, it isn't going anywhere um so we'll just pop this red I want to be on a colour for a second just to show you the difference of uh, so if we lift the cue ball and bring it up here a lot of the time you'll see uh, myself uh, Rainy Lamb, J Page you'll see us sort of here after the last black or before we pop the yellow now a lot of people think oh god what am I gonna, i'm going to play this with loads of bottom i'm going to take it off that bottom cushion the side cushion and just rely on a little bit of luck to get on the green there's two ways you can play this you can play it with just top because what you want to do is watch the what line that that blue line's taken so as i've said in previous videos that line stops on the bolt cushion you want it to come back off that bolt cushion and back in front of the bolt line to pop the green so just imagine all the reds are gone so I'm going to add about 20%, 23% on that. And with top spin, that is a push. I'll just show you the difference. If you play it with top spin, if I over it slightly. Whilst I'm in a position to pop the green, I'm, my white is running away from the brown, and I can't get a lot of control on the white ball, if you see what I mean. Yeah? So, you, I mean, I can't, I'm showing this red because I'm on the red, really. But you're in no man's land there because you're trying then to chase the white to get on the brain so if we play it again and we play it with a little bit of side so top and left hand side I would play it at about the same pace because the cue ball will speed up slightly off the two cushions so we will play it with 43 what we want it to do is we want it to come off the one cushion off the side cushion and then bounce back into open play now i should have hit that harder but the position i'm in allows me to get enough control on the cue ball to drag the green and stay on the brain yeah so if we play that shot again with the reverse if we get the wrong side on the ball so that was run inside because the cue balls go in to the left so we put left hand side on it if the cue balls go into the left and you put right hand side on it you have to put a little bit more power on because it's going to stun the white it's going to slow it down massively there's a strong possibility it come back towards the brain yeah come back towards the brain so if you so if you get the wrong side on it you're then in the position where actually you know the green's not on the green isn't on I want to show you the the black split so i don't know if you've seen it but a lot of people they come off the the top cushion and the side cushion and they split the reds full power i just want to show you how that's done so you need to be relatively straight on the black you need you don't need a lot of angle if anything i'm probably a little bit high and it might not work but we'll give it a try so what you want is because the cue ball is going to come off the top cushion and go right you need running right hand side to speed the angle up so we're going to put 
right hand side about a half one on a clock face full power be be careful of the blue line because sometimes if you're too straight you can actually follow the white in because you're putting right hand side on it um so we're playing at full power it should come off two cushions in at the pack not as i wanted but it's a, it's an opportunity to go into the reds let's try that again we'll pinch a little bit of pocket this time see if we can get a wider angle we'll put a bit more side on as well see what that does so full power pinch a bit of pocket running right hand side it's always running if it's traveling in the direction that the white's going to go that was a better split And we got our red into the middle all right so if we were to do that and put the opposite side on it as in you get the wrong side on the cue ball what it's going to do is it's going to come try and fight itself to come back left off the top cushion it might still reach the pack but it's highly unlikely because the, the power of it still will force off two cushions i've got a funny feeling that it come lower than the pack so we'll give it a try Yeah, it's come lower than the pack. Look. So, whilst that red's to the middle, and I've blocked the black spot anyway, it's still on, but that shot, is just it just isn't ideal. So, just play a couple of shots off the cushion, just to show you what I mean, just to, just to summarise really what side is. So, Left hand side on a dead straight shot. Cuba will go left. That's on a dead straight shot. Right hand side. Yeah. You can use it to get out of snookers if it's just a one ball snooker. And that's dead straight. The other thing to remember as well, guys, is that if we play it the length of the table, if you want to put side on the cue ball and you want it to take effect, what you've got to bear in mind is the speed you're playing the white ball at. What I mean by that is if I play this with right hand side, I want it to hit the bottom cushion, I want it to come onto the right hand side cushion. Right? So, for example, if I was to play it at 50% it reacts that much right so you get a fair side or right hand side on it what you've got to remember though is if you're playing it at a slower pace the slower you play it the less effective it is off the cushion and in some cases if you play it really really slow like that's just meeting the cushion it doesn't or it shouldn't actually go to the right after it touches the cushion. Play that a bit firmer. I'll show you what I mean. The reason why it does that is because it's losing momentum as it gets to the cushion. So in effect, the side's not, see it very, very slightly comes to the right because of the pace you're playing at. So you need to bear that in mind as well. If you're playing a shot with side and you want that cue ball to react, you've got to bear in mind that if you're trying to play a delicate shot to land in a certain area, you've still got to hit it hard enough for that side to take effect to get into the location that you you want to go to. Just try that again with a bit more pace. So at this length, to really make it eff effective, I would have said no lower than 25%. Um, 25, 23 to 25% would probably get you right hand side without it touching the side cushion. Yeah, I, I hope that's out, guys. I, I, like I said, I don't, re I very rarely use side if I if I can get away with it, and it's not something that I really try to use a lot of because it just creates errors, especially on Master Plus. I'll just try and show you the same effects for because that's not got a potting angle. So to put swerve on it, 
I want the white ball to go right to left. So to do that, because it's got to go left, I put left hand side on it. Now that line's manipulated by the power that you put on it as well. And the slower you play the shot, the bigger your target area. Now the, the more left hand side you put on it, so less top, the more of an arc you get. Yeah. So for example, if we played this at that pace, the issue you've got is the white's going to hit the red, then hit the side cushion, and then it's going to react uncontrollably off the side cushion and the top cushion. So you're playing with with a little bit of luck. There's no judgment involved in that because you're never going to never going to understand how far it's going to travel. I'll show you what I mean if I can hit it. I missed the red, but watch what happened. Oh, the white, the red's got in the way of the white. Let's try that again. Believe it or not, this is one of the challenge pack jobs I can't uh, can't seem to complete right now. So what we want to do is pot it really. Now the red's missed it, but the the white is just it's just uncontrollable. You just don't know what's going to happen to it. So just bear that in mind when you're playing anything with side. Um, I think that pretty much covers it, guys. You know if. If if you wanna if you wanna ask a different question or if you want something clarified in it, by all means, you know, let let, let me know. Um and we we can go through it. Just just quickly. This one. We want the black after this. What we've got to be careful of is the pace. So that's gonna to touch the cushion. Don't want it to do much because we don't want it to react too much. So it's got opposite side. It should touch the cushion, just stay there or come left a little bit. Yeah, see that? So it allows us to stay on the black. So the direction the white ball is going to travel in, that is the running side. So if you if you if you want to go off the top cushion, side cushion to your left, it's left hand side. Don't put right hand side on it because it will play against it and it will slow the cube down. Um and the same applies for when potting a colour. If you want that green potted and there's a single red between the blue and the pink you could play it with top spin but you'd have to be really accurate on your distance or you could put a bit of right hand side on it like that you could slow the cube will down just slightly by reducing the power and then the white should come off two cushions and come out into the middle of the table yeah and then you've got that single red that's would be sat between the blue and the pink or even in down in the corner near the black and that gives you loads of space there guys if the reds are split so I hope that helped, guys. Drop a comment if it, if it hasn't. If I've missed something, let me know, and I'll come back to you. Um, I'm happy to do another video if you feel that it's not not suitable, or if you if you if you want other questions answered. Um, drop that like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, guys, for a few, more future content. And I will catch you in the next one.